Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone, I'm Laila Tusadia from D class And now I would like to present about Realia as a strategy in teaching speaking English to young learners Using Realia means that the teacher will use objects and materials from everyday life or objects and materials in the classroom to teach speaking English to young learners and next, let's move on to the steps in implementing strategy. There are four steps in implementing strategy. For the first step is, teacher explain about realia. Teacher explain about what realia is and give an example to students so they will understand how to play realia. And the next is, Teacher introduced the vocabulary using realia and asks the students to pronounce the vocabulary. After that, teacher gives students monologue that describes an object by showing the real object, and teacher asks the students to discuss it together. And the last step is, teacher asks students to create a monologue and present a monologue in front of the class. And the reference, I got it from the use of realia in teaching speaking skills for the four grades at SDN Karanganyar Gunung Kidul by Anissa Fajaria and Yuyun Yulia. So I think my explanation about Realia as a strategy in teaching speaking English to young learners is enough. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Dorotul Mufida. I am from class D. Here, I will presentation about story completion, a technique in teaching speaking. Story completion is a fun method. All students have the opportunity to speak in a speaking activity where they sit in a circle. The teacher starts telling stories, but after a few words, the teacher stops narrating. Each student starts narrating from the point where the story stops. They add to the existing story. They can add new characters, even descriptions, and so on. In this learning process, the teacher provides keywords to help this process run pleasantly. The use of data cell projectors really helps students in seeing image, trying to imagine what happened, and the keyword on the projector display will make students more excited and learning becomes more fun. The teacher provides maximum opportunities for students to speak up to the desired target language by providing a supportive environment that includes collaborative work, materials and assignment and knowledge that can be shared evenly. Supporting as many students as possible to speak in every speaking activity. For this purpose, different things are practiced in students, reducing the speaking time in class when students participate in speaking, then observing the result of their speaking. The next is steps in implementing strategy. The first is the teacher starts to tell a story. So, uh, when the students are sitting in a circle, the teacher can start the story and the students must really listen. The second is after a few sentences, he or she stops narrating. And the third is student A start to narrate from the point where the previous one stopped. When the teacher stops telling the story, the teacher might appoint students to continue the story. And the fourth is student B is supposed to add four to ten sentence, sentence. 
and the last is its student can add new characters even description and so on until the story is finished okay i think enough for my presentation about story completion a technique in teaching speaking i am so sorry i've had many mistakes wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Aditya Mahindra from English Department EIN Kediri. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. This time, I will present about teaching English for young learners with games method. This learning strategy is based on using light games that can be adjusted with customization by the teacher depending on the team you want to give. This learning system is very interesting when implemented for early childhood and the kindergarten and elementary school level. This learning method uses the top 5 of the various things that will be determined. Students will mention one by one things they know. If their answer is in the column, then they will get the points that are listed repeatedly until the states are complete and the student will get the highest score will be the winner. Beside being interesting, this game, this learning method is very easy to operate because it only uses Microsoft PowerPoint at its base. In addition, the UE design used is also very good and friendly to be seen by early childhood and, and you can add images or writing as the teacher likes to make it more attractive and this is a snapshot of the design of learning method using games games here beside providing fun but also bringing education about using technology from early age let's continue to the discussion and step by step in operating this method the first step, teacher will design a team each round to challenge the students. The second step, the teacher explain about this game system as mentioned at the beginning. The third step, student answer the teams given one by one until the turns end. They speak loud and the teacher record their answer on the blackboard. Finally, the student will with the most total score will be the winner. And that's all I can explain today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you get new experience and see you later. Hello, let me introduce myself. My name is Tasha Aura Islamia. You can call me Tasha. Here I will explain about the teaching strategy especially for speaking it is made hot i will use role playing so what is role playing role play is act out or perform the part of a person or character basically we are doing a stage play in class and each student must playing as a character Role play is a learning activity that should be appropriate for students and social culture experience because the activity should give learners opportunities to use language they know and should start with simple dialogues before moving on to more advanced interactions. In role play, students need to use their imaginations so they can imagine how is the situation based on the real life and of course the students need to understand the real life context so they will be able to perform how to make a role play in classroom first you should create group that consists of several students after that you must create a situation the situation 
is based on real life situation. For example, the setting is in classroom, or in hospital, or in the park. And then give each student a role. For example, if we use hospital as the setting, then the role must be doctor, patient, nurse, and the other roles. And last, let them act out or perform the role playing using their language. Here's the source if you want to read more. It's from a journal, Teacher Strategy in Teaching Speaking of Candidates, written by Khaira, Sofyan, and Iskandar.